Clementine Hunter was born in late December 1886 or early January 1887 at Hidden Hill Plantation near Clodierville in Natchitoches Parish, Louisiana. She was a self-taught folk artist from the Cane River region of Louisiana who lived and worked on the Melrose Plantation. She started working as a farm laborer when young and never learned to read or write, but began to sell her paintings depicting black Southern life in her 50s, which gained her local and national attention. Her work illustrates brightly colored portrayals of funerals, baptisms, and weddings, alongside scenes of plantation labor varying in subject and style, including many abstract paintings and still life works. Initially, she sold her paintings for as little as 25 cents and has become one of the most well-known self-taught artists being exhibited in museums and sold by dealers. She is the first African-American artist to have a solo exhibition at the present-day New Orleans Museum of Art. Hunter's largest work is a series of murals in the African house at Melrose Plantation. She used paint left by visiting artists, therefore working with other artists' palettes. Hunter would frequently thin out her supply of paint with turpentine, creating more of a watercolor effect, which caused many of scholars to believe she had a watercolor experimental phase. She achieved significant recognition during her lifetime, including an invitation to the White House from United States President Jimmy Carter. Clementine Hunter died on January 1st, 1988, at the age of 101 in Natchitoches Parish, Louisiana.